What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Huh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natler does, from Natler Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualamet. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? Hello everybody, I'm Armas Geared, you and welcome to this very random video for the original Tomb Raider game. Um, I just wanted to record this video because I really like this game and uh, at least with my current mindset I have an idea for how I want to upload videos during the holiday season. So I decided that, well, happy holidays, uh, um, today we'll be playing through the original Tomb Raider. Now right off the bat, uh, this over here uh, is very dangerous, there's a couple of traps over here you want to watch out for. So. Yeah, this is the original Tomb Raider. Uh, this is the very first game that came those in the series. So, like, obviously, it's very different from the games nowadays. Um, but uh, that doesn't mean it's any bad. This is a very awesome game. Easily one of my favorite games on the PlayStation, which is one of my favorite uh, game consoles ever. Uh, this was actually my first uh, 3D. Well, actually, no, uh, Twister 2 was my first 3D game. But uh, Tomb Raider was one of my first uh, games I ever played. Um, so. Uh, this part, so this game, I have a certain button. So this game is uh, pretty special to me because, first of all, it got me into the Tomb Raider series, and uh, this is one of the very first games I ever played. Um, so yeah, this, so yeah, this is a very fun game. But like I said, it's very different from the more modern games, um, where they're more, where they're more like along the line, along the style of Uncharted or something like that. Um, heck, it's even it's it's also very different from Tomb Raider Legend, which is my favorite uh, game in the series. Um, but, like I said, um, just because it's uh, different from, what's, from what they're doing nowadays does not mean it's, it's that bad. Although I do have to say that the draw distance isn't that great, but again, this is a PlayStation game, so it's kind of a given. Um, so yeah, the controls uh, that I'm playing in this on the PlayStation, the original PlayStation version, not, I'm not playing this on like a PlayStation Network or anything like that, I'm not, I'm not actually sure if it's on the PlayStation Network. I'll put a caption on screen uh, um, if this is like on the PlayStation Store or something like that. Um, but I'm playing this on an original PlayStation, um, so yeah, that's exciting. But one thing I do have to get used, try to get used to whenever I play this game, um, is the fact that this game came out before the PlayStation had unlock controls. 
So like if I push the unlock, if I push the button on my controller to turn on unlock controls, it registers the fact that there's no controller in my hand now. So uh, that's exciting, except it's not exciting. And another thing, um, I never, I, I've never really talked about this on my channel before, but um, as I said a moment ago, I played this game around the same time I played the uh, Toy Story 2. Those are two of the first games I ever played. Um, in the Toy Story 2 game, the jump button was X, but in this in this in this game, the jump button is uh, a square. So I remember being so I remember when I was a kid. Um, one of the biggest uh, problems I had with this game was just the fact that the controls are different. Like I'm pretty sure there is an option to control the um, to change the controls by yourself, um, but like as a little kid, I didn't, I didn't actually know that that was a thing. Um, if my if the video quality is different uh, in this video compared to my more recent videos, I'm using my old capture card because it's the only way I'm able to record this game. Because my new capture card, as awesome as as it is, it um it it's HDMI only, and the PlayStation doesn't have HDMI support. At least at least it doesn't have an adapter that I could find. Um, so yeah, that's kind of exciting. Uh, one thing that I, although I do have a splitter, uh, courtesy of Monkey on Call, which means I could still play this game on my, uh, on my TV, so I don't actually have to worry about anything. Alright, so, for this video, I'm only going to be playing through the first level. Um, this is not going to be a let's play by any means, it's just a video of me playing through the first level. Um, because I really like this game and I want to demonstrate it for my viewers. Although, I'm not entirely sure if this game would match my, um, but it would be that great for a full let's play. Besides, I have plans on, re on redoing my let's play of Anniversary anyway, so it would be kind of redundant if I did this game as well. Although, I would be more. I would be really open to the idea of eventually doing a full let's play this game because I really like this game and, uh, um, yeah, that's a perfect way to end off a sentence. One thing that's really interesting to um, look at uh, between this game and Tomb Raider Anniversary is that's how different uh, they can be, because um, Anniversary is a remake of this game. That's kind of a no-brainer. Um, but the thing is. Like, even though they have a lot of rooms that share very big similarities between the two version, between the two games, and like this one was uh, completely re uh, remade for the original. Is there, is there anything over here? I could have sworn there was something over here. Uh, there apparently isn't. I must be thinking of Anniversary. But anyway, um, like I said, even though um, this game and Anniversary have a very similar big similarities in terms of story and uh, gameplay design, like this room was completely recreated it for in the remake, there's also a lot of big changes because Anniversary plays very differently from this game, it plays more like Legend, which I don't have a problem with because uh, Legend is my favorite in the series. Um, it was just very interesting looking at the differences between the two games because, uh, because Anniversary is a remake. Um, so yeah, back to the controls, um, I guess that would be a good thing to explain. Like I said, square button jumps, um, you, this game does not have analog control, so you use the D-pad to move, so that can make uh, good running a little bit awkward. Um, the X button, uh, let's say grab on ledges and um, interact with switches or anything like that, it's basically the action button. Um, triangle takes out a gun, circle moves around, and just things like that. Um, my biggest problem with this game is that, that little diamond over there. Um, that diamond is how you save- oh, there's a bear down there. Okay, um, do I want to fight it right now? Sir, why not? Bring it on! Don't eat my face, don't eat my beautiful face. Oh, get away from me. Don't eat my polygon face. Yeah, we did it. Was there anything worth it down here? Because I don't think there's a secret. I think this is just this just takes you back to the beginning. I think this is kind of just like a little trap made for people who aren't awesome enough to not fall down platforms. Can I please pick up the health pack? Okay, thank you. Uh, but yeah, uh, th this is a really fun game and it's, um, like I said, it's one of my favorites on the PlayStation. Um, I would not say it's my favorite, absolute favorite game on the PlayStation. Um, because as much, as much as I love this game, I, um, it does have problems like a, like the diamond that I was talking about a moment ago. That's how you save a game in this game. Um, you pick up the diamond and then the game will save right there. There's only one save zip file in this game and I'm currently um, going through a playthrough. I'm halfway through the game so 
I don't want to save my game during this recording session, simply just because of the fact that I'm halfway through the game on my norm on my own time, and I don't want to reset the entire thing. Um, uh, but my problem with it is the fact that, uh, um, like certain some levels later on in the game, the diamonds are close together, so there could be like two diamonds that you'd want to pick up. But doing that makes it save twice and makes it impossible for you to save your game later, simply just because of the fact that you used it already. Um, so that's my big problem with this game. It was fixed in Tomb Raider 3. I don't know if it was any different in Tomb Raider 2, but in Tomb Raider 3 they made it so that you collected them rather than um, rather than it being like a one-time use. Well, it was one-time use in that game, but um, rather than it being a thing you could only use at that moment. Um, it, it wasn't ideal though, because again, you can only have one save file in that game, unless you had like, unless you saved across multiple things. I just realized you could do that, um, you just have like d d different memory card and you can... I am very dumb, I've been playing this game for like, however, however long I've been playing this game, and I just realized that you can have completely different save files using memory cards. I am not that bright. <laughs> um, I hear a thing. Hear thing. You're gonna hear me. You might hear me freak out a couple times because uh, that's kind of like the staple of uh, the older Tomb Raider games uh, to uh, get freaked out over enemies. Uh, like one of my favorite memories of playing this game is in the next level that comes up. Um, there's a bear that comes around, and no matter what I do to it, it seems like it always um, um, just runs off, and I'm never able to find it again. And then by the time I forgot about it, it comes around the corner, and it terrifies me. Um, yeah, this game, it's fun. And I, and I gotta say, I love the music that plays this area, so I'll be quiet for a moment. Oh man, it ended. I'm sad that it ended because that was one of my favorites. Because that's honestly one of my favorite songs in gaming. It's so awesome and amazing. Curse you, game. Curse you. Um. So I was saying, so I was just saying way earlier towards the beginning of this episode. This is not going to be like a full uh, let's play this game. However, I am very open to the idea of uh, let's play this game. So, let me know in the comments below, would you like to see me let's play uh, the original Tomb Raider game, even though I'm more than likely going to uh, re redo my let's play of Tomb Raider Anniversary first. And these platforms right here, those platforms that crumble, um, something I love about this game is that, um, is how they, is basically like how they work, because later in the game there are gonna be platforms just like that, but if you jump over one, it does not register, so if you activate every single other one of those platforms, then the one that you didn't even touch would just stay there, even if it's not connected to anything. It is amazing. Um, that's a big reason, that's one of my favorite things, uh, that's one of my favorite things about this game, is like, it makes you think, um, like, uh, don't you just love, like, 90s physics in video games or something like that? That was a very poorly constructed sentence. I mean, I believe there are a couple wolves over here. Somewhere around here. Yep, there they are. Yeah, we got ya. Uh, right here is a, hu a big meta pack. Um, uh, you can, like, um, do, like, two versions of them. Small meta packs so that will leave the store, like... 50% of your health, then um, large meta packs will restore um, like 75%. I'm not entirely sure about the exact numbers, but I'll put it, but with the magic of Capsons, I'll be able to correct myself. So, something this game kind of serves with uh, Tomb Raider uh, 2013 is that the enemies will stay where they. Is it the enemies will stay there when they die? Um, I'm pretty sure I missed a secret. I'm pretty sure I missed a secret. Uh, yes, I did. If I go in there, then I'm going to end the video. Then I'm going to end the level also. Why do I always mix up those words? That's something I've been noticing that I'm doing a lot more lately. How I mix up the words of uh, level and video. Like, I've been doing that since probably even before Super Mario 64. So, I don't know what is going on with that. But I'm trying to remember, did I get all the secrets in this level? It's not like I'm trying to go for 100% right now, but 
I just know that I'm gonna go crazy on the other side if I think there's a switch. No, it is not. Okay. I am confused. This is ex this is exactly why I said let's play this game so that I can have moments like this. I think this is just here to like tease when you're on the other side of the um the gate you can see like the t a little teaser of what's to come later in the level. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this uh, level. So, yep, that was it. Uh, we yes, we did miss a ward. So, uh, eh, whatever. It sounded like I was going for hundred percent or anything like that. But let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see a full let's play of uh, Tomb Raider? Because I'd be really happy to do it. It's probably not gonna happen for a while though, because I have plan. Because I have like a huge plan for um for my next uh, Tomb Raider series. So, but either way, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Would you like to see a let's play of the original Tomb Raider? And with that, I'm gonna end this video off here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video of uh, Tomb Raider 2013. Happy holidays, and until next time, let's gear to you. Oh yeah.